All right, so let's look at the quotient rule on this guy and uh, see how it's going to work. A couple things that we're going to need to keep in mind is uh, the quotient rule. So if we take the derivative of u over v, then we're going to have low d high minus high d low over low low or low squared. And the other thing that we have to keep in mind is that we're going to look at the derivative of a product. So this is going to end up being u times v prime plus u prime times v. So we've got to have these two things in place. Uh, and when we're working on our derivative for quotient rule, just keep it simple. Here's the high part, here's the low part, and it might spread all the way across the page, so be prepared for that. All right? So, d dx. d dx. And we're going to take the low, x cubed, d high, and that's going to be the first times the derivative of the second, plus the derivative of the first times the second, minus, and then we take the top, times the derivative of the bottom. And we're going to put all of this over the bottom squared. So there's your setup. Okay. Now let's combine some things together. Uh, if you foil out these two guys, if you foil out these two guys, you get 2x squared minus x minus 1. And then when you add it to the back, some stuff should go away. And we will be left with x cubed times, and if you'll notice, this x squared and this or this x and this x go away that one and that one go away so that's 3x squared on the back end if you foil out this guy and this guy foil that out you get x cubed plus x squared plus x minus x squared minus x, minus 1. And notice on this guy that here's an x squared and here's an x squared. They go away. Here's x and x. They go away. So all I'm left with then is x cubed minus 1. Times 3x squared. all over x to the sixth. All right. Now clean up the top one more time. So we're going to have 3x to the fifth minus 3x to the fifth minus 3x squared over x to the sixth. And again, clean up a little more. So I'm going to have minus 3x to the fifth plus 3x squared. So look at these x to the fifths. This one goes away, and this one goes away. And all I'm left with is 3x squared over x to the sixth. 
you can reduce that to 3 over x to the fourth. And there is your derivative. One step at a time, little as she goes, and you will eventually get there. But the algebra, it can be challenging. Okay?